the issue has been ADP versus non-farm payrolls, and what are the two differences? I mean, the, the main thing to think about is that ADP is attempting to measure in, in a, a more pronounced way small and, and medium-sized businesses here in the United States and the hiring and the firing there. And really, a lot of the layoffs that we've seen that have created this concern about the labor market have primarily been in large companies. And so I think that one of the other things to look at is, you know, this, this wage price increase that we experience as part of this report, that's really where the concern is. Because, you know, a strong labor market, if we were seeing wages grow the way they were in, you know, the 10 years prior to 2020, for instance, the Fed wouldn't be nearly as concerned about that. However, if we are continuing to see 5, 6, 7 percent year-over-year increases in wages, that's going to be the stickiest part of this inflationary cycle. So I think it's important to understand that, you know, there does need to be uh, a real introspection in terms of investors that there are parts of the economy that are showing these huge layoffs, and they talk a lot about it in the, in the tech check program that we just saw earlier. Um, but I think one of the things to think about is how is the fundamentals of the economy performing? Because the Fed isn't going to look just at one piece of data. They're going to continue to look at all of these secondary effects of inflation and how long those can persist before they even start to talk about a pivot. So, Jason Snipe, there are some who don't want to believe the hype from the Fed, right? Um, we know some of them who are on this show on a regular basis. Esther George, the latest to say that rates over 5%. Keep them there for a while. Kashkari yesterday, 5.4. Then we'll pause and keep them there for a while. You had several retail downgrades today. You had sobering commentary from Microsoft and Amazon regarding layoffs and the road ahead. And where does that leave us? Yeah, so, I mean, for me, higher for longer is obviously the, the narrative that you really got to pay attention to. We, we, the Fed has been talking about this dual mandate for some time now. It's been employment and inflation. Inflation is coming down hard. You know, we, we saw what some of the news, uh, some of the commentary in Germany and France, we got some good numbers there. ISM prices uh, pretty much in line, but prices came down some. You know, so for me, as we, as we shift to the, the narrative in employment, ADP, as Shannon just mentioned, what the numbers were, you know, above expectations, you know, the, the, the concern is obviously that could be potentially inflationary. We'll look at the numbers, what we'll see tomorrow, you know, from a labor perspective and, and, and where that goes. But the, the focus for me is really now, how long do they stay restrictive? You know, because I think it might be 25 basis points in February, maybe another 25 basis points. They'll likely stop then. But what is the material impact to the market going forward from there? So, That's really my focus. So, Weiss, um, this remains the principal reason why you are and have been as negative as you are. It's just plain and simple. Uh, plain and simple vanilla looking at, at the market. Don't fight the Fed, right? Um, they keep telling you exactly what the game plan is going to be. And as I said, there are some deniers. There are some who don't believe the hype. There are some who just think it's not going to happen, that they're not going to be able to do what they say because they're going to get on the verge of breaking something and then have to pivot. Of course, yesterday in the minutes, we learned that nobody's even thinking close to cutting rates anytime soon. Um, has your view in any way, shape or form changed as we've turned the calendar now? No, I'm dug in. Uh, days like yesterday, when you uh, when the market focuses on one little sentence, which says, "Hey, basically paraphrasing, we reserve the right to change our mind depending upon the circumstances," you know, th and the market rallies, just makes me more negative because you know the old the the old refrain, "Hey, who doesn't know the Fed's in a tightening cycle? Who doesn't know the economy's going to weaken? Who doesn't know that inflation is peaks?" Well, sometimes you can know things and sometimes you can't know what the effects of those are. So I look at the St. Louis Fed. St. Louis Fed comes out and they tell you in their latest uh, report on their website, tremendous information there, 26 states are already in recession. It doesn't end there. So when you hear Esther George says, look, I hope we don't go into recession, but we very well could, we're there already. So uh, until the, you know, un until people just realize that you know, it's like an insurance policy. You buy an insurance policy, but you never, you hope you don't use it in your normal life. That's what we saw in the Fed minutes. They're not going to pivot. I've never seen a market, frankly, I said this before, that's easier to analyze than this. Because what matters above all is monetary policy. And they're telling you right where they're going to go. They're going to shoot you right between the eyes in the labor market. Labor market continues to grow. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. read in the papers and you hear anecdotally that you're raising uh, 
you know, that you're giving wages, you know, bonuses to people to stay. And then I look at companies. I came on over a month ago and I said, hey, a company we're investing in the cloud in Europe said nobody's investing. Nobody's getting any, buying any contracts. They're yeah. putting on hold. Hey, There's a slowdown U.S. Wait, what, so what do you say, though, to yeah. somebody who says, well, they've already done a lot because of all the reasons you say, and the stock market's already come down a lot because of all the reasons that you say? It's good. Right? It's still overvalued. Nobody knows what the E is, so you have to make a bet. Is the E going to be where it is? Okay, and then it's still overvalued by a couple of turns in a raising in a rising right and rate environment, or our numbers going to come down? Numbers are going to come down, well, yeah, they, which is going to mean they, you'll ha you'll need multiple expansion. Stay where you well, are. They have it's come down happening. a lot. It's going well. Right? They they have come down a lot. Not and, 